ever. Although it's hard to believe, tonight's Extreme Cinema offering is a film which came perilously close to being banned in the UK, and which, according to one very prominent critic, marked the point at which even a liberal society should draw the line. It's a film whose Cannes premiere led the London Evening Standard to label it a movie beyond the bounds of depravity, whose appearance at the London Film Festival encouraged Virginia Bottomley to shriek about screen violence and the Westminster Council to enforce an immediate ban, and whose eventual uncut certification by the BBFC had the Daily Mail calling for a boycott of all Sony products. Moral panics don't come much more moral than the one surrounding David Cronenberg's crash. Adapted from a cult novel by J.G. Ballard and boasting a breathtakingly eerie score by Howard Shaw, Crash depicts an ongoing relationship between a man and a woman traumatically drawn together in a head-on car collision and subsequently lured into an autoerotic subculture which redefines their lives and their sexualities. Now clearly this was never going to be the stuff of mainstream cinema, but the air of cool detachment that Cronenberg brought to the material ensured that it retained an accessible cerebral edge, even as it explored the bizarre, uncharted waters of human sexuality. A special jury prize at Cannes and the Genie Award in Canada, where it became the most successful domestic movie of the year, suggested that Cronenberg had indeed negotiated the difficult line between sensationalism and sensitivity, as did some rave reviews and healthy box office from around the world. But when it came to Britain, there were furious calls for cuts, bans, and prosecutions. Calls which came not from the censors, who remained admirably even-tempered throughout the crash debacle, but from trashy tabloid journalists and, most appallingly, some so-called film critics. Shame on you. Leading the baying pack were Alexander Walker, who described Crash as containing some of the most perverted acts and theories of sexual deviance I have ever seen propagated in mainline cinema, and Christopher Tookie, morality of the satyr, the nymphomaniac, the rapist, the paedophile, and complained about its positive depictions of gay sex, lesbian sex, and sex with cripples, a phrase which I think says more about that journalist's particular hang-ups than it does about the film. Indeed, it's to the infinite credit of the BBFC that having shown Crash to lawyers, psychologists, and disabled groups, they concluded that it was neither dangerous nor obscene, nor did it bear much relationship to the film described in the newspapers. If you only know Crash through the storm of controversy it whipped up, then prepare to be surprised. It's not the film you expect. In fact, it's unlike anything seen in recent cinema. But that's what you get from a director like David Cronenberg, who simply refuses to be an art. And here it is.